what is tempeh? You guys might have heard of it. You guys might have tried it. You guys might have seen it at the grocery store and kind of wondered what is this and why should I eat it? So this bag is really great because it holds in humidity. Mold uh, needs humidity and it needs to breathe. So this bag right now holds humidity but doesn't let the tempeh breathe. So what we're gonna do is make a ton of holes in it. So if we were to only put holes on this side of the bag, this part of the tempeh wouldn't grow at all and this part would be super healthy. We have uh, finished bagging the beans. We have the split peas and the soybeans. We can see that the split peas are actually a little bit wetter. This worries me a tiny bit. The soybeans are actually perfect in terms of humidity, so we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, so it's been 30 hours since we put this in the oven. We've been flipping these around uh, back and forth, so I don't like to put my tempeh on the top rack in the corner because usually the, the tempeh that's in that, that's the closest to it will overheat. And so I like to put it in the middle rack on the opposite side, and I'll flip it around every couple hours or so like this. So you get kind of a controlled temperature, but you can feel it. You can touch that one, touch that one, and see if the temperature is the same. So this fermented pretty hot, actually. If you can see, this guy is super fermented. You have a really tight, strong mycelial mat or tempeh roots. I prefer a tempeh that's like this. It's a little bit less fermented than this one. What's nice about this one is that it's a lot lighter tasting. This one has got a nice tempeh funk to it. Even if you're an, a seasoned tempeh eater, you know, you're gonna wanna put a lot of marinade on this. Whereas this one, you could basically just cook it straight up like this and it'd still be good. It basically just tastes like the beans.